जमुना में बह रही है मैंने दुर्दश अब देख करके मैंने प्रतिज्ञा करके आया था कि कृष्ण को ले करके आए लेकिन अभी तक मैंने कृष्ण को लेकर नहीं जा सकता अगर दो बार जाऊँगा तो लोग झूठा सर आ जाए So when there is such thing like this, that uh, what we should do, that because uh, Krishna will wake up, uh, come back with a certain consciousness, then he will immediately desire to go to Braj. Then they decided that we must send somebody from there who will go and inform the Vedvasis that Krishna is coming soon. But when he will come back with consciousness, he will want to go to Braj. He will inform the Vedvasis that he, he will be coming soon. Then uh, they were discussing that who should be sent, and they decided, they came to the conclusion that the best person to be sent from here is a uh, Buddha. So they decided that Uddhav you should go and then they approached Uddhav here and they said that you must go to Braj and you must tell them that Krishna is desiring to come and in a very short time he will be here. When, he, uh, when everybody spoke to him like this, Uddhav he became, uh, uh, Uddhav he immediately revolted, he did not agree to this at all. He said, last time also I was sent by Krishna in Braj and that time also I saw the condition of all the Vajvasis. They were crying so much, they were crying so much, they were so, I could see that they were so distressed uh, because of the separation of Krishna. Their house is full of cobwebs, they haven't cleaned, I, can, I could see that they haven't cleaned their houses, they haven't cooked for a long time in their kitchens. And they are crying so profusely that the tears from the eyes uh, looks like as if it is flowing in a stream and it has become like a rivulet there. And this is the condition of the Bhagavasi, all of them. I've forgotten to take care of their bodily needs, all I've forgotten to eat. And, and then when I saw this condition, I felt, uh, I felt uh, sympathy towards them. And I uh, promised them that I'll come here to see when I've seen your condition in the separation of Krishna. I will go back to Braj and as soon as possible, I'll bring Krishna back to you again. I will tell him of the pathetic condition and Krishna will definitely listen to me and then I will accompany him back to Braj. He said, I promised this a long time back. And since then, I haven't gone. I haven't, Krishna hasn't gone. And if I go and tell them again that, uh, oh, uh, Krishna is coming, they will, they will say that, oh, this liar who came some time back, again he has come this liar, spreading small lies. कृष्णा भी जाएंगे 
फिर इसलिए मैं बेच रहे हैं फिर मैं भी जल रहा हूँ एक काम करो हम तीनों के लिए तीन रथ बनाए इसलिए भी जगन्नाथ बड़े दो सुभद्रा तीन रथ तीनों के लिए तीन रथ बनाते हैं जो बना करके इतने में नारद जी वहाँ पर बड़ी सुंदर ब्रज की सुंदर उन्होंने कीर्तन गाते हैं जब बड़े सुंदर कीर्तन गाते कीर्तन सुनकर इतने में कृष्णा धीरे 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 ब्रज के कीर्तन ब्रज बहुत सुबह जब आप धीरे धीरे उठे जब धीरे धीरे उन्होंने उठे और जब उन्होंने देखा उसने नारद जी को तो बोले नारद यहाँ पर भी क्या है फिर उद्धव जी को उन्होंने देखा नारद पर उद्धव जी को देख लिया उद्धव तुम पे क्या है क्योंकि सब के सब कई बार तो द्वारका पर गए तो फिर हम वृंदावन और उसको बात बोले तो हमने सारी बात सुनाई दे दी ब्रज का गृह में तो विरोध हो गया था इसलिए हमने तो व्यवस्था किया है इतने में भी कृष्ण अभी कृष्ण जाने के लिए जो चाहते हैं ब्रज को इतने काम करो चलो हम तीनों ही हम चलते हैं इसीलिए जो कृष्ण को ले जाते हैं आप देखना रथ यात्रा में ऐसे 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 क्यों हो रहे हैं मतलब वो पूरा राधा है कि ब्रजवासी में तो प्रेम में संपूर्ण रूप से डूबे हुए थे इसलिए उसकी प्रेम में झूठते झाँकते करते रहते हैं तो फिर उनको तीनों ही दर्शन में ही करके तीनों ही चलते हैं He, she volunteered to say that I will go and I will inform them. I'm a lady, and uh, they will be able to understand me. I will be able to understand them, and I can pacify them, and I can assure them that uh, Krishna is coming soon. They will hear my words. They will believe me. Uh, and uh, everybody uh, thought that this is a, a proper idea. This is the proper situation that uh, the Swadhar is going to go. But the tradition in India is that a lady is never allowed to go go out of home alone. She has to be accompanied by somebody. So uh, when they decided that Swadhar should should go, then uh, but they said that if you are going, then I can come with you. I can come to you. Or you should go alone. And then uh, if he is going, then uh, a chariot was made for Swadhar Ji. A chariot was made for Swadhar Ji, and a chariot was also made ready for Krishna when he will wake up. And in, in, during this time. Krishna did wake up. The Narada started singing very nice kirtan. Uh, he, he started singing very beautiful kirtan in very sweet melodious uh, voices. He started singing kirtan. Hearing all this kirtan, Krishna woke up. He came back to his eternal consciousness. When he did, uh, uh, came back to his eternal consciousness, he had lost his consciousness, totally meditating on the Brajbasis. And he was he was so deep in absorption uh, in the Brajbasis that he began to think after waking up that he is in Braj. When he woke up, he was very surprised. He said. Naraji, how are you here? Because Naraji never comes to Braj, and Udhavi, how are you here? Because they are all associates of Dwaraka. How come you are here? Then uh, they explain to Krishna that what had happened, that how you had lost your consciousness, and in this time Naraji uh, was singing, uh, keeping to you, and brought back, uh, brought you back to your own consciousness. And now that we have arranged chariots for you, because that he, of course, he developed this desire. He expresses his desire that he wants to go to Braj. So they said nothing to worry about. We have already made the arrangements of the chariots, and we can uh, immediately proceed towards Braj. So we will see when the Ratha is going, going on, when the Ratha festival is happening. Then uh, uh, Lord Jagannath, he is riding on the chariot, and you will see when he is sitting on the chariot, he is not sitting. He is not sitting still. He is like moving backwards and forwards, sideways, each way he is moving, and it looks like as if some intoxicated person is uh, standing there. Who is not able to stand properly? He is losing balance all the time. So what? He is absorbed in Radharani's prayer. He is intoxicated by Radharani's prayer, and because of this intoxication, he cannot stand still. Of course, how Maharaj mentioned yesterday that so much happiness which cannot make him uh, stay still. इसलिए जब ये तीनों जा रहे हैं लोग उधर राधारानी कृष्ण बोल करके आए थे मैं परसों आ जाऊँगा लेकिन परसों बोल करके तो परसों हो गया अभी तक भी कृष्ण आए नहीं तब राधारानी कह रही हैं बोले हैं ललित है ही दिशा के जो तो और कहाँ से आ गए क्या दे दो तो अभी तक मैंने इंतजार करते करते रहा कृष्ण जरूर आए लेकिन अभी तक नहीं आए मतलब और कृष्ण से लगता है कि जीवन और मिल नहीं पाऊँगी मैं प्राण से आ कर लेकिन एक काम करिए मेरे जो शरीर में जो पांच जो तत्व है ये पांच तत्व को तो मैंने पांच स्थान पर छोड़ दो जो हवा है जिसे कृष्ण को पंखा की हवा कहते हैं वही हवा को वहाँ छोड़ देना जो मिट्टी जहाँ पर कृष्ण खेलते हैं वो मिट्टी को वहाँ पर छोड़ देना और जो जो अग्नि है वो शीशा में जो कृष्ण दर्शन करते हैं उसमें कर देना और जो जो पानी है कृष्ण जी से तालाब में जल विहार करते हैं 
So they have started from Charit from here and there Radharani has uh, decided that she can maintain her body and she is then on this to all and so these that she's not able to hold her uh, body together anymore. And she immediately saying these words, she falls down unconscious and just about it looks like that she might leave her body any moment. And when she just about to leave her body, that very moment, Radha, Krishna and Baladev on their riding on riding on their chariots, they appeared there. The moment all the gopis saw this that all uh, Radha Krishna and Baladeva have appeared there. Radha Krishna. Oh, Subhadra. Subhadra Baladeva. Subhadra Baladeva. Subhadra Baladeva. Subhadra Baladeva. So, uh, Krishna and Baladeva and Subhadra. Krishna and Baladeva and Subhadra, they appeared there. When they saw this, all the gopis now, they began to whisper in their ears. Whisper in the ears of Radha and they go, oh, Krishna has come. Lalita Vishapa, all of them were whispering. There are four types of gopis. Uh, Tatasta, uh, Vipaksha, Sopaksha, and Suhrit. There are four kinds of gopis, and generally is known as Vipaksha means she is used usually in her opposition. Uh, she is considered usually in her opposition. But at the time of Vipraram, when some Sati is in deep absorption of Krishna and she is in distress and poor condition and separation from Krishna, that time everybody gets together. That time everybody gets together, and uh, there is no difference between and everybody is now trying to pacify Krishna. No, sorry, not trying to pacify Radharani. Even Chandravali is saying, although she is considered as in 
uh, opposition party to Radharani, uh, but at, the, at this moment, she is also sitting there. And she is also whispering, uh, softly in her ears, that, oh, Krishna has come, Krishna has come. When, she, when the, all of the gopis are speaking like this, then she, she somehow uh, is coming back to her son consciousness. And there, that very uh, moment, Krishna appears there. And when Krishna appears there, he is just standing still, uh, stunned at the condition of Radharani. When he sees the condition of Radharani so pathetic and in such a condition, and so uh, lean and thin, and when he sees this, he also loses consciousness. And when he loses consciousness, and by this time, understanding that Krishna began to roll in the dust uh, of Raj and he lost consciousness. And then all the uh, gopis, when they uh, uh, bring uh, Radharani into consciousness, and Radharani is standing up now, and she is seeing Krishna lying there unconscious. And uh, all the gopis are trying to pacify Radharani, they are trying to take care of Radharani. But Radharani, when she gets up and she looks at the condition of uh, Krishna, she says, don't worry about me, I am good, let's take care of Krishna. Maybe Krishna might leave body the way he is behaving, the way he is in separation. This form of Lord Jagannath actually is the form when Krishna has darshan of Radharani in this distressing condition and looking at the frame of Radharani. When he is looking at the frame of Radharani, then he begins to. He begins to that means his eyes are uh, wide open in astonishment at the condition and he has uh, his hands are withdrawn within his body, his legs are withdrawn with his body. And this is the form. Uh, means Radha Vidra. Radha Vidra means in separation, this form is called in separation of uh, Radha Rani. In separation of Radha Rani, Radha Vidra. This is his form. So, uh, Mahaprabhu, he had come to this world, Krishna, in the form of Mahaprabhu, has come to this world to taste the, relish the pain of Radha Rani. So, that is why, because this Krishna, this Jagannath, is the very form of uh, Radha Vidura in separation of Krishna. So, he stayed there every day to have darshan. And for 18 years he stayed there and he relished this, uh, what he had come to relish from this time.
कहते ये श्रीमन महाप्रभु जब जगन्नाथपुर में आए हर साल तो राजा ने भूमिका मंत्री एक साल से पड़ा रहता था धूल से एक दिन पहले नौकरों को देख रखा कर देते लेकिन जब महाप्रभु आए तब उन्होंने स्वयं राजा को पास में उन्होंने ये सेवा महा कर ली है बोले कौन सा सेवा को महा कर रही झाड़ू लगाने से और हमारे देश में जो झाड़ू लगाने का सेवा वो स्वीप वाले को गए थे हाँ मेथर स्वीप वाले गए थे तब से जो छोटे सेवा महाप्रभु ये सेवा को महा कर लिए बोले क्यों महा कर लिए शिक्षा देते हैं सत्य नारायण के अनुरूप मंदिर में उसको कभी भगवान की जो सेवा नौकर से कभी नहीं हो सकता है सेवा सेवा होता है भाव से सेवा होता है इसलिए ब्रह्म का आज कहते हैं जो नौ पैसा देकर सेवा कराते हैं वो भीतर का सेवा को खरीद के क्या होगा सेवा वो भाव से इसलिए सेवा करें जो पैसा मिलेगा पैसा नहीं मिलेगा सेवा नहीं करेंगे वो थोड़ी भक्ति की बात इसलिए महापुरु वो सेवा को सबसे निकृष्ट सेवा को मांग कर देंगे ये सेवा मेरे को दिया जाए मैं अपना परिकरण को ले करके हम निगम में मंदिर में जाऊँ राजा So uh, he is describing that he is uh, cleaning this temple, and in India you would see that uh, anybody who is uh, acting as a sweeper, cleaning the streets, etc., that sort of uh, work, that sort of job uh, is considered as for the lowest of the people. Uh, they they are doing the cleaning job, etc. In India, this is what it is considered like. But here Mahaprabhu, he he also describing that. Uh, Anybody who is uh, up till now, how the Guru Jamaji was doing? Up till now, the king would send some servants. He would send some servants, and they would go and clean the temple. Uh, this is, he said, I shall start to the proper understanding. This is not seva. This is not seva. It means uh, there is there is exchange. If you give me money, I will clean. If you do not give me money, I will not clean. This is not seva. This is a uh, business transaction. He said so. This is not proper seva. So, but Mahaprabhu, here what he is saying, he is. Approached the king. Up till now, the king was uh, arranging the servants to go and clean the Pandita temple. But Mahaprabhu is asking uh, this permission. He is asking that please give me this chance that me, along with my associates, I want to go and clean the Pandita temple. Because although in the material world this may be considered as the most menial of all the works, but here you do not clean the nipples of the Lord through servants. You clean with your heart, with your feelings, with your love and affection. You clean this. So similarly, Mahaprabhu is also asking, asking. He has asked the permission of the king to get, give, be given a chance that he will go and clean the Gundisha temple because he wants to serve Radha and Krishna. He wants to he wants to serve the Lord so that he will come and sit on the throne of Gundisha temple. Yes, इसलिए कहते हैं इसलिए हमारे भक्ति जगत में ये जो झाड़ लगाने का सेवा भी बड़ी बात है। इसलिए भक्ति में ना तो वो अपने आप को खरीद कर देते हैं। बल आप कौन हो? बल मैं झाड़ लगा रहा हूँ। वो अपने परिचय में झ इसलिए कभी सिर्फ श्यामानंद राधारायण के चरण के रूप में चुना केवल निकुंज में वृंदावन में झाड़ू लगाते लगाते ही उनको राधारायण के निकुंज जो उनके चरण का निकुंज केवल झाड़ू लगाते लगाते उनको मिला है और जगन्नाथपुरी में जो महाप्रभु गए अभी प्रतापरुद्र राजा से मिलना चाहते महाप्रभु तक में जीते से नहीं मिले तो भोगी आज नहीं मिले लेकिन जब रथ यात्रा के समय में महाप्रभु देखने के लिए गए रथ यात्रा क्या होता है देखा राजा हो करे कहाँ राजा है और काम क्या कर रहे हैं झाड़ू धार कर रहे हैं जगन्नाथ सामने झाड़ू देते हैं जगन्नाथ मंदिर में और अपना राज पोशाक छोड़ करके साधारण वस्त्र पहन कर केवल महाप्रभु इतना ही देख करके खुश हो गए अरे तुम इतने बड़े हो करके भगवान की सेवा झाड़ू लगा कर तुम जरूर में स्वीकार करोगे इसी वजह से जब रथ यात्रा हो रहा है तो सात दल वहाँ पर था लेकिन उन्होंने हटा देगा सात दल में महाप्रभु को मिस्टर दर्शन हर दल दल में माँ लेकिन उसको कोई नहीं देख रहे थे लेकिन महाप्रभु दर्शन कर रहे थे तो उन्हें बोले ये बात चारों में भरा चार दिनों में क्या देख रहा हूँ सात दल में महाप्रभु अलग अलग रूप में महाप्रभु मिलते कर रहे थे महाप्रभु ऊपर से तो बोले तुमको अपने दर्शन नहीं देंगे लेकिन सदैव से तुमको दर्शन कर रहे हैं इसलिए मैं हमको तो कोई नहीं दिख रहा है जैसे कृष्ण का आशीर्वाद में हर सत्यों को ताकत दे के किसने उन्होंने तो भी यहाँ पर देखे तो सात दल में हम लोग महाप्रभु ऊपर से नहीं अंदर से महाप्रभु In our bhakti, sweeping is considered to be actually a very high class of service. Now, we know that Shri Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, what is my energy? He says, my energy is that I am the sweeper at the Nikunja of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And this is what he is saying, this is my energy. And Shamananda Prabhu, how did he find that ankle well? He found this ankle well 
once when he was sweeping the uh, Nikunja, Sevakun, he was uh, sweeping, and he found the ankle bed of Tadarani. And he became such a prominent, well known devotee because of this one pastime. Uh, and uh, here, uh, the king also, he's, he has expressed his desire uh, through some devotees, some associates of the Lord, means Mahaprabhu, that I want to have his darshan and I want to have. I want to have uh, some association with him. That time Mahaprabhu refuses to give him association and he refuses to give him audience. Why? Because he's saying you are materialist. You are materialist and you are the uh, king. You are the king. You are a uh, uh, deep materialist and all the time, of course, like a king has to wear his attire, etc. So this is the attire of the king which shows that he is completely deeply absorbed in material activities, etc. But although he is, perform, uh, he is uh, performing his material activities as a king, but Mahaprabhu saw him also that at the time of Ratyatra, he is divided into seven groups. He is divided into seven groups and each group, there are uh, a number of uh, Mirangas and there are a number of devotees and all men are singing, etc., dancing, etc. in this uh, Ratyatra. And that time, he, Prataprabhu, saw all the seven uh, groups had expansions of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in each group. And nobody else could see, but Pratapudra saw this. Why? Because why did Mahaprabhu give him this mercy? Because Mahaprabhu saw in the Ratha Yatra, he is sweeping in front of the uh, cha, uh, car. In front of the Ratha, he is sweeping this. And when he saw that, although he is the king, but still he has some humility in him. That's why in his mind, in his heart, he decided that yes, he will give darshan or you give audience to. इसलिए कहते हैं उन्होंने वहाँ पर सब भक्त लोग बल तुम अभी तुम सारे राज पोशाक को परित्याग करके आओ परित्याग करके आओ और तुम क्या करो महाप्रभु की चरण की सेवा करो वो गोपी गीत को गाओ उन्होंने तब कथा मृतम तप त जीवनम कभी भी जब उन्हें भजनों को गाए प्रताप रुद्र इतने महाप्रभु इतने खुश हो गए इतने खुश हो गए महाप्रभु उनका आलिंगन ने किया बोले तुम तक मेरे को अमृत पिला रहे हो हाँ कीर्तन नहीं तुम अमृत पिला रहे हो उसमें महाप्रभु उनको आलिंगन ने किया उनके ऊपर कृपा किया क्यों केवल ये झाड़ू लगाने का आशीर्वाद देख करके केवल इतना ही इसलिए भक्ति जगत में जो जितने मंदिर की साप करेगा वो मंदिर साप नहीं अपना हृदय रूपी मंदिर साप हो जाता है उसकी जगन्नाथ बल्लभ भाटी का सारे भक्तों के लिए इसलिए भक्त लोग सब प्रसन्न थे उनके बारे में so, uh, such beautiful, wonderful flowers. Hmm? And uh, this is called Jagannath Ballab Bhatika. This is the name of the garden, which is uh, still having such beautiful flowers. This is somewhat near the middle from uh, Jagannath Temple to the Gundisha Temple. So, uh, Mahaprabhu, because uh, the Rath, uh, it's not that the Rath is pulled immediately and taken to, uh, and it immediately reaches within two minutes, it reaches the Gundisha Temple. No, it's not like that. It takes some time. So. When the Rath uh, is being pulled uh, along the way, he takes some rest here. Uh, the chariot takes rest here, and Mahaprabhu, after singing and dancing in the Kirtan in front of the Rath Yatra, sometimes this, uh, behind the, uh, the car, he's singing and dancing, he becomes tired. And then he goes and rests in this Jagannath Bhatika, Jagannath Bhatika. He goes and takes rest there. 
and he is Radhudra at this time what he does, he arranges prasad for all the associates of Mahaprabhu and he is serving them and he serves them and then because Mahaprabhu becomes happy, Krishna becomes happy when his devotees are being served. When his devotees are being served, he is very pleased and he will definitely give mercy to such a person. And now all the associates, they know, that all the associates of Mahaprabhu know that at, although he is uh, in his kingly duties, he is as a king, he is performing his kingly duties, but actually from by heart, he is a devotee. So that time of day, and also Mahaprabhu has seen that he is sweeping. He is sweeping means he is, uh, he is a humble person. So because of this humility, because of this seva attitude that he has, that Mahaprabhu has seen towards his devotees, his associates, he uh, also has decided that he will give darshan. And then all the associates of Mahaprabhu, Raya Ramanan, Sarudama, etc., they tell to the Prabhu to the king, they said that you should discard this uh, kingly attire, you should discard this royal attire, and you should uh, wear some simple clothes, and you should go and have, uh, you should go and wear Mahaprabhu's dressing, and you should sing some nice words. Now you should, you should uh, massage Mahaprabhu's feet, you should serve his feet, and then he will be merciful on you. And that well, time, go, 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 go. And, mm. uh, and they also told him to sing Gopigi. So when he approached the Mahaprabhu, he is massaging his feet and he started singing the Gopigi. Like this he singing, uh, when he sang a beautiful, sweet, melodious voice, then Mahaprabhu became totally ecstatic hearing this beautiful Kirtan. And uh, in this ecstasy, he immediately embraced the Prabhu. So it is uh, our uh, attires are describing that how did he get such mercy? Mahaprabhu, although a king, how did he get mercy from Mahaprabhu to such uh, such extent that Mahaprabhu himself embracing, Supreme Personality himself is embracing the king. He said, because of this humility of his, when Mahaprabhu saw his humility, and Mahaprabhu when he saw his service attitude towards his devotees. Yeah. You see, he said, here, the Mahaprabhu, the Mahaprabhu, the Gundija Mandri Maharajan, he said, in the Sri Lab Bhakti Siddhanta, सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रभुपाद एक बहुत अच्छे उन्होंने कमेंट्री लिखा है ये गुंडीजा मंदिर है क्या चीज महाप्रभु ये लीला उन्होंने क्यों की है इसका क्या रहस्य है तो प्रभुपाद इसके ऊपर में बड़े सुंदर कमेंट्री लिखा भी हम कोशिश करेंगे वो क्या इस विषय पर बताना चाहते हैं ये गुंडीजा मंदिर क्या है गुंडीजा मंदिर नहीं हमारा हृदय है हृदय में भगवान कब बैठेंगे कब क्या क्या होने पर भगवान बैठ सकते हैं ये चीज को प्रभुपाद बता कोशिश करने को सुनने के लिए हम अबाउट दिस फैक्ट साइन ऑफ गुंडीचा टेंपल देयर इज वेरी ब्यूटीफुल कमेंट्री बाय पूजवाचला ऑफ दिस संत श्री गोस्वामी प्रभुपाद ही हैज वेरी इलैबोरेटली ही हैज एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्फिडेंशियल मीनिंग्स ऑफ दिस फैक्ट साइन दैट हाउ व्हाट इज दिस गुंडीचा टेंपल दिस इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम योर हार्ट एंड व्हाट डज इट मीन टू ब्रिंग हिम टू सिट देयर how is it made clean enough so that we can invite the Lord and when will uh, the Lord accept this invitation? So he says there are very beautiful and very uh, confidential uh, meanings, uh, purpose that uh, Puja Vachala Siddhanta Sarit Goswami Prabhupada has uh, spoken, he has written in a comment to this uh, passage, he's saying we we'll try to listen a bit from this passage, uh, from this commentary of Prabhupada. nirmal <laughs> एक शब्द सुना पहले हृदय निर्मल होनी चाहिए उसको बाद में शांत होनी चाहिए उसको बाद में अति उज्जवल होनी चाहिए तीन शब्द कहते हैं निर्मल शांत और अति उज्जवल होनी चाहिए और अगर हृदय में अगर जो कंटक पूर्ण जो कांटा है उससे दूर रहनी चाहिए जितने आगाचा दूर होनी चाहिए जितने धूल कंकड़ जितने अनर्थ है कहते ये सब के सब हृदय में आने चाहिए क्योंकि महाप्रभु सबसे पहले जा कर के उनने सारे धूल कंकड़ को उनने झाड़ू दे दे कर के उनने साफ किया है महाप्रभु पहले झाड़ू दे कर निकाले पहले तो धूल को निकाले फिर कंकड़ रह गया था उसको भी निकाले उसको बाद में फिर पानी लाए पानी ले कर के उसको पानी को धोरा धोए पानी को धोकर तब भी और ये नहीं हुए देखा कहीं छोटे छोटे दाग भी है महाप्रभु अपना कपड़े से उसको घीस घीस करके निकाले तो कहते वो सब क्या चीज है महाप्रभु सब क्या सीखा दिया so, Pujvachala Siddhanta Sarat Goswami Prabhupada, he is describing that there have to be three qualities present within the heart so that we will be able to invite Krishna to, to give a human seeking place in our heart. He is saying, he has used three words, Nirmal, 
शांत एंड अति उज्ज्वल निर्मल मीन्स प्योर शांत मीन्स पीसफुल अति उज्ज्वल मीन्स एक्सट्रीमली अफजित जिसमें दीज की क्वालिटी शुड बी प्रेजेंट इन दार्ट then at the heart is qualified to give us the praise to the lord and he saying in the past time of uh, and he also says further that there should be no thorns in the heart there should be no pebbles there should be, there should be no sharp pebbles there should be no dust in the heart and so when we see in gunita temple we see how mahaprabhu has cleaned this gunita temple around with the associates first of all he has taken away all the uh, dust then there are some pebbles left he is uh, taken away those pebbles he selected all those pebbles also and then he is brought some water or water and he is washing the uh, washing the entire place with water and then when he sees in the end after all this cleaning washing etc some places still have some spots then he takes some place of a cloth and he is rubbing those places with this of a cloth so what is the meaning of all this he is saying i'll try to describe yeah is it a कहते धुला मतलब होता है इसलिए रूपो गोस्वामी अपना भक्ति रसामृत सिंधु में भक्ति का डेफिनेशन देते हैं भक्ति कहते हैं किसको तो उस श्लोक में कहते हैं मतलब अन्याभिलाषिता शून्यम ज्ञान कर्माद्य अनावृतम आनुकूल्यन कृष्णानुशीलनम भक्ति उत्तम कहते तो उत्तम भक्ति उसको कहते हैं हृदय किसी तरह का कोई संसार की अभिलाष नहीं रहनी चाहिए हृदय में किसी तरह का कोई संसार की भोग वासना हृदय में नहीं रहनी चाहिए कृष्ण सेवा को छोड़ करके और कोई भी भावना नहीं रहनी चाहिए इसी श्लोक ऊपर में श्री विश्वनाथ को ठाकुर टीका बहुत बड़ा विस्तृत टीका उन्होंने लिखा है कोई अभिलाष नहीं होना तब तो ये प्रश्न करते भैया कोई अभिलाष नहीं होनी चाहिए द्रौपदी का जो वस्त्र हरण हो रहे थे उन्होंने भी तो भगवान को बुलाए वो इतने बड़े प्रेमा पर भक्त है वो भी तो भगवान को बुलाए तब कहते अभिलाष नहीं होनी चाहिए तब उनके हृदय में अभिषा तब उसको टीका में कहते देखो हठात कोई अगर तुम्हारे जीवन में विपत्ति हठात कोई आ गई अगर हठात तुमने कोई बरबस हो करके भगवान बोले उसमें दोष नहीं लेकिन बुद्धि स्थित रहते समय अगर बारंबार भगवान को बुलाओगे ठाकुर जी ये दे दो ठाकुर जी ये दे दो ठाकुर हम की ये कर दो कहती ये गड़बड़ी चीज है Many many desires that a person has in the heart, and so first of all, these desires should be removed. And Sri Rupa Goswami Pad in Uttarakhand, uh, uh, sorry, Bhakti Rasam, Bhakti Rasam Sindhu, who is describing, he is defining the definition of bhakti. He is uh, speaking that anya uh, anya vilasita shunya gyan karmadi anavitam. So he is saying anya vilasita shunya means one should not have any other desires other than the desire to serve the Lord. And Sri Rupa Goswami Pad on this shloka. He has explained very elaborately what is the meaning of this word that have, should have no desire. Because somebody may object that okay, uh, we should not have uh, any uh, any desire. So one of uh, one of Krishna's exalted devotees, Prema Kur uh, devotee, uh, Draupadi, she when uh, she was being derobed in the assembly that time, she called out to Krishna. So the Dushasan of Astra is not doing that. He told. कृष्णा and that time you call out for his help that is another situation uh, but if you are peaceful and you everything is uh, okay for you but you still keep on calling krishna again and again keep on disturbing again and again oh give me this give me that i want this i want a bigger car i want a bigger mobile telephone i want this this all that you have but you still your desires are increasing since it this is not proper ah anya vilasita sunnam isliye kehta anya vilasita sunnam le gyan karmaadi anabritam कहते हृदय में जो ज्ञान ये ज्ञान और कर्म को द्वारा भक्ति ढकनी नहीं चाहिए हैं ढकनी नहीं चाहिए लेकिन यहाँ पर छोड़ने के लिए नहीं बताया हैं इसलिए ये चीज़ को उन्होंने छोड़ देने के लिए नहीं बताया बोलो ढकनी नहीं चाहिए इसलिए जो ज्ञान है कि तत् पदार्थ ज्ञान और एक तम पदार्थ ज्ञान इसलिए एक दो तरह का ज्ञान है एक होता है जीव जो ब्रह्म में जो डूब जाना चाहते ब्रह्म में मर्ज हो जाना चाहते वो ज्ञान नहीं लेकिन जो 
जो तत्व ज्ञान है जो भक्ति युक्त तत्व ज्ञान जो भक्ति वो ज्ञान तो होनी चाहिए जैसे हमें कथा सुनी अभी तक ज्ञान है लेकिन ये जो ज्ञान प्रभु के भगवान की भक्ति को बढ़ाने वाले कर्म है कर्म जो अपना शरीर को मैं मरा मान करके भोग करता हम है जब तक तो रहेगा तब तक तो भोग करेंगे इंद्रिया से वो भी कर्म है कहते ये ये जो कर्म को बताया छोड़ देने के लिए नहीं बताया नहीं बोले जैसे अभी ठाकुर को सेवा कर रहे हैं मंदिर में आर्जन कर रहे हैं ठाकुर के भी तो शुभ कर्म है कहते ये कर्म के लिए नहीं बताया कहते ये जो कृष्ण विमुखता जो कर्म ज्ञान उसको त्याग देने के लिए बताते हैं अच्छा जोर से बोला जोर से बोला थोड़ी सी It should not be covering. It should not be covering. It should not be. It is not said here that you should totally leave uh, that uh, karma and gyan. That is not the meaning of this law. It is not saying to leave totally because there are uh, two different categories of gyan. One is tom padar gyan, tom tat padar gyan, tat padar gyan, tom padar gyan, and brahma ekya gyan. Means one that gyan in which you desire to merge with the Lord. That is to be rejected. But uh, the gyan that we are hearing is very different. And we hear people from Buddha, from Acharya, they read books, they read scripture. This is also gyan. Such type of gyan is not included. We don't. We should not collect that gyan which is which will cover our bhakti. Such type of gyan is encouraged that we should hear the uh, passage of the Lord. We should try to understand the teachings of the Lord. We should try to understand the teachings of our Guru Varg, etc. That such gyan is not covering bhakti. And then is uh, gyan for karam, karam, adi. In karam also, all the activities we are performing in the temple. They are also karma. We are cleaning the temple. We are cooking for our uh, cooking in the temple. We are offering the Lord so many bhoga, uh, so many preparations. We are offering to the Lord. He said, "This is also. These are also activities. These are also karma. But such karma does not cover up the bhakti. Uh, only uh, only those activities, those karma, which are not in favor of bhakti, such uh, such karma actually covers up your bhakti. So such uh, karma and such yaan is." Refuted, and it is not said that we have to give up karma and gyan totally, but uh, don't let the such karma and gyan, which will cover up your bhakti, which are against bhakti, should not be adopting such karma and gyan. हाँ बल आनुकूल्यन कृष्णा अनुशीलन कहते थे भक्ति कैसे बल आनुकूल्यन आनुकूल्यन मतलब होता है कृष्ण की रोचमाना प्रवृत्ति ऐसे करो जैसे भगवान प्रसन्न हो ऐसे करनी चाहिए तो यहाँ पर फिर वो विश्वनाथ चक्र ठाकुर फिर प्रश्न करते हैं इसलिए यहाँ पर कहते हैं जो कृष्ण रोचमाना प्रवृत्ति एक अव्याप्ति और एक अति व्याप्ति उदाहरण देते हैं अव्याप्ति अति व्याप्ति कृष्ण रोचमाना प्रवृत्ति चारों वृष्टि की जब कृष्ण बलराम से युद्ध कर रहे थे कृष्ण बलराम तो बड़े खुश हो रहे थे अब लोग ये भक्ति है जिसे भगवान की रोचमाना हो भगवान तो खुश ये तो खुश हो रहे थे बोले नहीं ये देखने के लिए तो खुश हो रहे थे लेकिन ये देखना पड़ेगा कृष्ण का रोचमाना प्रवृत्ति नहीं भक्त का है यहाँ पर जो चारों वृष्टि का भाव है समय मौका मिले तो इनको पछाड़ दे पीस दे ये गंधी भावन इनके हृदय में यद्यपि कृष्ण को दिख रहा था खुश हो रहा था बिर रस आस्वादन कर रहे थे दूसरे तरफ में जैसे मैया जसोदा कृष्ण को बैठा करके दूध उतल उतल रही थी कहीं चली गई कृष्ण रो रहे थे अब लोग भक्ति ही नहीं बोले नहीं माँ के हृदय में जो भावना भक्तों के हृदय देखना पड़ेगा भावना किया बलिस्तान में जो दूध कृष्ण के लिए तो है ही है लेकिन अगर दूध उतल कर अगर गिर जाएगा तो क्या होगा कृष्ण के लिए मक्खन कहाँ से मिलेगा कृष्ण को मक्खन कहाँ से खिलाऊंगे इसलिए कृष्ण का जो रचना प्रवृत्ति वो भगवान के ऊपर निर्भर नहीं करता भक्त के हृदय की भावना के ऊपर निर्भर करता है But Shri Lal Krishna, the Thakur is describing very deeply the meaning of this. That which is uh, pleasing to Krishna, it, it can be something that which is uh, very narrow, which doesn't cover the bhakti, or that which can be so vast that actually it is gone beyond what is the uh, boundary boundaries of bhakti. He is describing this. He is saying, what does it mean? He is saying, if we see that bhakti is that any activity that will give pleasure to Krishna. If you see that any uh, activity that will give pleasure to Krishna, so then that is called bhakti. He is saying actually this is not proper because in the, at the time we know this famous pastime of the Tanu and Mushtik when they are uh, wrestling with the Lord with Krishna and they are wrestling. At that time Krishna and Balram they are finding great pleasure in wrestling with these uh, Tanu and Mushtik these uh, wrestlers. So and uh, is this bhakti? 
No, he's saying although Krishna and Balaram are finding great pleasure in this wrestling, but what is the mood of the Chanura Mushrik, those who are wrestling with him? They have this desire that if they will get a chance, they will totally crush Krishna or Abhadara. If they get a chance, they will totally crush them. He's saying that this is not Bhakti. So Bhakti depends not on just Krishna's pleasure. It depends on what mood, what service attitude you have towards Krishna when you are serving, when you are performing some activity to him. So that's why we understand that uh, just pleasure of Krishna is not the definition of Bhakti. Oh, that which is pleasing to Krishna. And then on the other hand, we see that Mother Rishola, uh, she is uh, uh, feeling breast milk to Krishna and that time also she has put a pot of milk to boil and that time Krishna is uh, very happily, he is uh, drinking milk from his mother's breast but that very moment when she sees uh, that the milk is going to be boiled over and fall into the fire and that time she literally puts Krishna, uh, snatches him away from uh, her breast and she puts him on the ground and then she goes and saves his milk to boil over and fall in the fire. So somebody may say that, oh, this is not bhakti because Krishna, when he was put on the ground, he was uh, he was very pleased, he was very happy drinking the milk, but he was very displeased and he became very angry but when Mother Yashoda snatched him and put him away on the ground. And he, when he snatched him away and put him on the ground. So this this looks like it's not bhakti, that's not true also. Because actually whatever activity that Mother Yashoda performs, she only performs for the sake of, for the pleasure of Krishna. She has put Krishna away, but she has saved this milk because she knows that this milk will be used. Her milk cannot be used to make sweets. Her milk cannot be made to use, uh, make yogurt, etc., butter, etc. So she is wanting to use this milk in uh, service of Krishna. That is why I understand that this is the definition of Krishna. The, what is the mood, what is the um, mentality of the devotee who is serving Krishna? Uh, bhakti, this is uh, what is the definition of Bhakti. इसलिए इसलिए बोलते हैं कृष्णानुसीलनम भक्ति रुतमा कहते हैं जो उत्तम जो भक्ति है कहते हैं जब कृष्ण के लिए जब होता है कहते हैं यहाँ पर जो कृष्ण शब्द उन्होंने बताए उन्होंने बोले जो कृष्ण को नहीं ये पूर्ण ब्रह्म ऐतेचान सकलापुर से कृष्ण स्तु भगवान स्वयं जब कृष्ण को भक्ति की जाती है � लेकिन जो संपूर्ण जो उत्तमा भक्ति जब वो कृष्ण के लिए जब किया जाए उत्तमा भक्ति तो यहाँ पर भक्त लोग कहते हैं एक तो ये दूसरा दूसरा कहते हैं कृष्णानुसिलनम ये कृष्ण नहीं यहाँ पर कृष्ण आती है कृष्ण मतलब राधा रानी कहते हैं कृष्ण भक्ति सर्वश्रेष्ठ भक्ति लेकिन भक्ति होने पर भी जो सबसे जो टॉप मोस्ट भक्ति है कृष्ण का भक्ति भी सबसे टॉप मोस्ट भक्ति नहीं लेकिन जब राधा रानी की अनुगत्य में भक्ति की जाएगी फिर तो वो भक्ति को सर्वश्रेष्ठ भक्ति बताई जाएगी so the next word such as saying Krishna no shilana is saying a bhakti rutama so what does it mean Krishna no shilana bhakti rutama he is saying that bhakti to Krishna is considered should be considered to be the topmost of bhaktis there are so many types of bhaktis and none of one those bhaktis can also be considered as wrong they are not incorrect bhakti towards Lord Ram bhakti towards Narasimhadev bhakti towards Lord Narayan these bhaktis are also so he says these are also known as bhakti and they are also proper bhakti but it is not Uttama, it is not the topmost. The topmost bhakti is described that bhakti which is for Krishna. And there is another confidential secret. It is not the word used here is not Krishna. The word used here is Krishna, which means actually it is referring to Radharani. So that bhakti which is performed to Krishna under the guidance of Radharani, that bhakti should understand is to be the topmost. <laughs> कहते महाप्रभु तो उन्होंने पहले धूल को निकाले कि जितना धूल को निकाले उसके बाद में कुछ कंकड़ था बोले ये कंकड़ क्या बोले कंकड़ को भी हटाए बोले कंकड़ है ब्रह्मानुसंधान जो जो ब्रह्म को मिलना चाह ब्रह्म में मिलना चाहते हैं ये होता है कंकड़ इसलिए कहते भक्ति में बहुत बड़ा बाधक है इसलिए भगवान भक्तों को मुक्ति देने पर भी भक्त कहते प्रभु हम मुक्ति नहीं चाहते ये भक्ति में सबसे बड़ा बाधक ये ब्रह्म ज्ञान बताया जो जीव ब्रह्म में साजू जब पाना चाहते इसलिए बताए बहुत उच्च पद प्राप्त करते कि भी वहाँ से उनको पतन होना पड़ता है उनको इसलिए जब तक इसलिए रूपों को स्वाइन बोले भुक्ति मुक्ति स्प्रिया पिशाच जाबत हृदय पर जब तक हृदय में भुक्ति मुक्ति रूपी जो पिशाच जब तक हृदय में बैठेगा तब तक जीव कभी भक्ति प्राप्त नहीं कर सकते इसलिए कंकड़ मतलब है कि मुक्ति को भी दूर करो यहाँ से so, uh, from the temple, he 
then train they all collected all the pebbles and sharp pebbles and water pebbles were there and collected all these pebbles. Pushpa Sri Siddhanta Sarati Goswami Prabhupada is describing uh, what are these pebbles? He is saying these pebbles are the, uh, is the desire of a living entity to merge with the Brahman Jyoti of the Lord. That is the, these pebbles. He is saying this has to be removed, this desire has to be removed. He is saying that this is, although somebody, this is considered as very exalted position, somebody emerges with the Brahman Jyoti of the Lord, but there is no security there. There is no security. A person, although he reaches such high exalted positions, uh, merging with the uh, uh, Lord's uh, effulgence, but still he has to fall down from there. Still he has to fall down. So this is not a permanent position. And because of this, uh, Mahaprabhu has uh, uh, expressed through this pastime that this also should be removed from the heart. Jiva Goswami has described that uh, sorry, Rupa Goswami has described that this uh, desire for bhukti and mukti should be uh, compared to he's compared it to Pishati. Pishati means a witch. He's saying this witch, when till this remains in the heart, one will uh, never be able to uh, pro uh, progress properly on the path of bhakti. So this desire also has to remove and this pastime of Mahaprabhu. When he is removing these pebbles, this is what he is explaining, or this is what he is indicating to us that his desire for bhakti and mukti, this also should be removed. So, he has said that the dhul was the dhul, 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 and 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 the dhul फिर दो बार आ जाती है इसका मतलब महापुरुष कहते हैं अगर तुम हृदय में भगवान को बैठना चाहते हो जितने कर्म ज्ञान योग भोग जितने पूरा के पूरा इतना दूर से फेंको जैसे दो बार कभी नहीं आ सकता what it means, he's saying, suppose oh, uh, by your efforts this dust, uh, this dust is thrown somewhere close by, then what will happen? Whenever the wind will come, may again it will come back. Means you have to go away from these desires, far away, you take these desires far away, so that even, so much so that even if wind, etc., something happens, some storm happens, it will not come to you. This is the meaning. That's why he said, 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 छोटे छोटे जो छोटे छोटे जो दाग था ना महाप्रभु अपना कपड़े से उसको कपड़े को द्वारा वो दाग को घीस घीस करके उठाया हाँ कहते ये क्या है ये सब चीज क्या है बोले ये चीज को तो पहले तो इसे दूर हो जाता है नहीं लेकिन कभी कभी हृदय में ना ये कुटी नाटी प्रतिष्ठा जीव हिंसा निषिधाचार लाभ पूजा प्रतिष्ठा ये कभी कभी रह जाती कुटी नाटी मतलब होता है कु टी ना टी हैं कुटी नाटी कुटी नाटी मतलब होता है जो कुटी नाटी आपको पता होगा कुटी नाटी मतलब क्या होता है जो छाल कपट प्रपंच अगर हृदय में अगर रहेगा इस सब चीज को छाल प्रपंच कपटता रहेगा ऊपर दिखाने के लिए एक कर रहे अंदर में और कोई चीज है हाँ कहते ये इसको प्रति भगवान प्रभुपाद कहते हैं सभी का कल्याण हो सकता है लेकिन जो कुटी नाटी व्यक्ति है यानी का कल्याण होना बहुत कठिन है इसलिए कहती है कुटी नाटी को दूर करनी चाहिए so further he is describing, then Mahaprabhu, what did he do after he has uh, taken his throne, this dust far away, and then he has cleaned it and he collected the pebbles and thrown them also away. Then he washed them, and then he, whatever spots were left, whatever spots were visible still, he took out his upper cloth, and with that upper cloth he is cleaning these spots also. The Pujabhachala, Bhaktisa, Prati Goswami Prabhupada describing, what does it mean? He's saying sometimes when your, uh, most of the anathas have gone away, Still, the subtle uh, anathas like Kutinati, Pratisha, desire for proceed, etc., these are still left. He said, Kutinati, what it means, Kutinati? Kutinati means uh, duplicity. He's saying, unless until duplicity will remain in your heart, means you are not internally and externally, you are not the same. Externally, you are showing something else, but actually, internally, yeah, your heart is full of so many other things. And other, your behavior is so different from what you are showing externally. He said, till this duplicity will remain in your heart, it is not possible that you will attain bhakti. That's why Prabhupada says that they will be very good. They say that they will be very good. They say that they will be very good. But they will not be very good. 
Prabhupada goes to the extent to say, it is better to remain in the species of birds or animals rather than give shelter to this Kutnadi in your heart. Yeah. This is the other one, he says, Pratishtha. He says, Pratishtha is, he says, he can leave all the life of life. He can leave all the life of life, all the life of life. लेकिन ये प्रतिष्ठा को छोड़ना बड़ा कठिन होता है हैं प्रतिष्ठा छोड़ना बड़ा कठिन होता है प्रतिष्ठा क्या है कहते एक तो कहते कोई जो चाहते हम निर्जन में भजन करेंगे जब निर्जन भजन करेंगे लोग बोले बोले बाबा ये बहुत बड़ा साधु है हैं ये बहुत बड़ा साधु है कहते ये और 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 एक कहते हैं बुजुर्ग के द्वारा निर्बोध लोगों को आमा का एक जन साधु बोलिया महत इसलिए जो कुछ उल्टा पुलटा चीज़ को दिखा करके जो अज्ञान व्यक्तियों को सामने अपने आप बहुत बड़ा जो बहुत बड़े रूप में जो स्थापन करना चाहते हैं साधारण लोगों को सामने हैं इधर उधर करके करके इधर उधर करके लोगों को कैसे अपना प्रतिष्ठा हो गया तो ये सब चीजें नहीं रहनी चाहिए uh, he has left so many of the anarthas. He has left his maybe uh, his family. He has left his kids. He has left his business. He has left everything. But still, this desire of prestige is not so easy to give up. And Shila Prabhupada is describing, Bhaktisam Prabhupada Goswami Prabhupada, what is this Pratisha? He's saying, in one way, Pratisha means that he will go and perform bhajan in a solitary place. And why he's performing bhajan in a solitary place? Not because he's uh, finding it beneficial for his chanting, but because he's uh, performing this bhajan in a solitary place because he's thinking that when he will perform bhajan in a solitary place, everybody will worship him. Everybody will think that, oh, what kind of a great devotee he is. All the time he's chanting and he's so absorbed. He's all the time meditating on the Lord. He's saying, this sort of uh, bhajan is not beneficial. And second, he's uh, described that second pratisha is that some people we see that uh, they uh, have they develop some mystical powers or they develop some uh, intelligence, they develop some knowledge and etc. Knowledge, et and by this they want to show some miracles or they want to show their knowledge etc. And by this simple simple hearted people they become attracted to them. And by this uh, their simple heartedness actually he is showing himself to be some somebody very big actually who is what he is not. He has used all this knowledge, all these powers, whatever he has gained. Actually, he is just using so that he will be able to collect the followers. He is saying, this sort of desire of Pratishtha is very bad for spiritual life. Yes, because the third one is the third one is the third one. So, the third one is the third one is the third one. The third one is the third one is the third one. The third one is the third one is the third one is the third one. Dutam, Panam, Striyam, Sona. The third one is the third one. The third one is the third one is the third one is the third one. जो जीव हिंसा में पहले जैसे मांस खाना मछली खाना अंडा खाना प्याज लहसुन खाना इस वक्त जीव हिंसा जैसे रोको ये एक है कहते हैं साधारण ना जीव हिंसा कहते हैं जो सचमुच से जीव हिंसा है मतलब जीव जीव हिंसा मतलब जीव का हिंसा करना जीव का हिंसा मतलब प्रभात कहते हैं जो शास्त्र का सही बात नहीं बता करके लोगों को मनोरंजन की बात बता करके उनकी मन की अनुकूल की बात को बता करके जो अट्रैक्शन करता है कहते वास्तव रूप में यही जीव हिंसा क्योंकि जीवर स्वरूप है कृष्ण नित्यदास जीव तो भगवान के नित्यदास है इसलिए अगर उनको ये बात नहीं बता करके धूर तो उल्टा पुलटा बात बता करके अपना ये करके लोगों को जो सही जो शास्त्र का धर्म प्रचार नहीं करना ये कहते वास्तव ये जीव हिंसा है so the next uh, is some uh, of the describing is Jivinsa. Jivinsa means violence towards the living entities. He's saying uh, that Kali, we know that Kali resides in four places. It, uh, in gambling, in uh, intoxication, in illicit uh, associations with the opposite sex, and in animal killing, in meat eating. He's saying this is one kind of uh, uh, violence towards the living entities that the, he's saying from all the anarthas, from all the places that uh, the Kali has gained residence, he's saying this is the most dangerous, where the animals are killed for your pleasure and you eat them as your food. He's saying this is where one should remain far away from such activity. He's saying this is one avoidance. He's saying this is harmful. To some, to some extent it is harmful. Yes, it is pretty harmful, but still, there is something which is even more harmful, which is considered even more uh, deeper jivinsa. Uh, what is it? What it is? He's saying those people who speak Harikatha to their followers, to their listeners, for the sake of 
attracting them. And by this, they speak some entertaining katha, entertaining or they create such atmosphere which is entertaining actually, which is not really giving them spiritual benefit, which is not really telling them what is Krishna Sarupaya Krishna Tadas means the living entities as a Jhara Sarupa Krishna Nityadas. Position is Krishna Nityadas. Krishna Nityadas. Constitution position. The living entity's constitutional position is that he is always a servant of the Lord. But instead of guiding him on this path, he is speaking for the pleasures of the people who have come to listen to him so that they will not get offended. Speaking such things by which they will they will find that it is more entertaining. It is more attracting these people to him rather than giving them their beneficial uh, instructions. And uh, such instructions which are only for the purpose of entertainment, understand this is much deeper deal himself than the deal himself by which the animals, etc. Kata is ko fair usko mahaprabhu ne kya ko pani ko dhara usko dhoya hai. Fair mahaprabhu ne pani ko dhara baad mein achhe dhara se dhoya. Bale pani ko dhara dhoya matlab gaya hai. पहले जैसे ज्ञान कर्म योग इस सब को तो छोड़ दिया हृदय में हृदय से छोड़ दिया गया लेकिन ये भक्ति नहीं है ये इस स्वरूप लक्षण नहीं ये तटस्थ लक्षण है ये स्वरूप कर्म कर्म ज्ञान ना छोड़ना माच नहीं करना अवैध ये ये भक्ति नहीं इसको तो त्याग दिया लेकिन अभी तो तुमको हृदय को तो शुद्ध करना पड़ेगा ना हृदय वो क्या है हृदय को कैसे उन्होंने पानी दे करके फिर उन्होंने धोया इसका मतलब है ये चीज़ को छोड़ दिया उसके बाद में क्या करना पड़ेगा उसको बाद में हृदय को प्रेम को द्वारा फिर उसको धोना पड़ेगा इसलिए महाप्रभु जब साफ कर रहे थे हाथ से से साफ कर रहे थे लेकिन मुंह में भगवान का नाम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 जो कुछ थे कृष्ण 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 सब कुछ यहाँ पर जैसे जीव गोस्वामी कहते कलिजुग में जो सर्वश्रेष्ठ भक्ति ये हरि नाम रूपी ही सर्वश्रेष्ठ भक्ति कलिजुग में ये इसलिए कहते हैं इसको हृदय साफ कैसे होगा हृदय सुशीतल कैसे होगा मतलब भगवान के नाम को दोहराए हृदय तुम्हारी सुशीतल हो सकता है सो वी हैव बीन हियरिंग अबाउट ऑल दीस थिंग्स व्हिच आर पोलिटिकल डिफा एंड ऑल दोस थिंग्स दैट महाप्रभु ऑल दोस एक्टिविटीज दैट महाप्रभु हैज परफॉर्म टू क्लीन द हार्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस डर्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस एक्सटर्नल डिजायर्स एटसेट बट ही सेइंग दीस आर नन ऑफ देम आर एक्चुअली भक्ति दीस आर जस्ट यू आर क्लीनिंग योर हार्ट व्हाट वी शुड डू Uh, that which will, which will be called what they say. When Mahaprabhu is cleaning, then after cleaning, etc., he starts uh, cleaning with water. In the end, he cleans with water. What does it mean? Yeah. Up till now, you have removed all these, uh, uh, all desires, subtle desires, etc. You have removed all these, but these are just katasa. These are not real bhakti. What is bhakti? The real bhakti is chanting the names of the Lord. So the Guru Goswami is describing. That the highest sign of bhakti in this age of Kali Yuga is chanting the holy names of the Lord. And when Mahaprabhu is uh, cleaning the Kundalini temple, what is he doing? He is passing on a pile of dust, a pot of water, whatever they are doing, activity they are doing, they are chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So actually, this is what you have to yes clean your heart from all external desire, but then you have to supremely pure. How will it become? Extremely pure. How will it become? How will it draw bhakti by chanting the holy names of the Lord? By chanting the holy names of the Lord. That is real bhakti. That will give supreme pleasure and supreme peace to the heart. Yeah, well, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. इसलिए महाप्रभु और जो सही सही साफ कर रहे थे महाप्रभु उसको तो प्रशंसा कर रहे थे बोले तुम भी दूसरों को सिखाओ लेकिन जो सही सही नहीं कर रहे थे बोल रहे थे बोले तुमको दंड देंगे बोले वैष्णव सेवा करो क्योंकि वैष्णव सेवा करोगे तो संस्कार बनेगी संस्कार बनेगी तो फिर आगे भक्ति कर सकते हो तो तो हृदय को हम साफ क्यों नहीं कर पा रहे संस्कार नहीं है इसलिए तो हृदय लेकिन संस्कार होगा तो हृदय साफ करके तो महाप्रभु को क्या कैसे होगा बोले वैष्णव सेवा से होगा Heart. So those who are not able to clean their heart properly, 
then Mahaprabhu would tell them, go and serve the Vaishnavas. Up till now we are performing uh, the limbs of bhakti for so long, but still we are not able to develop in bhakti as uh, according to the time we have spent. He's saying, why? Because we don't have the samsats. So what did Mahaprabhu said? Mahaprabhu said, those who are not able to clean properly means they are lacking in some sorts. They are like lacking in presence. So to them, he gives, I will give you punishment. What punishment he gives? He said, go and serve the Vaishnavas. Because we will develop some sorts by serving the Vaishnavas. So this is, this is what Mahaprabhu wants. That everybody should be absorbed in bhakti. Those who are qualified should keep on uh, uh, doing bhakti and they should teach the other, others also how to perform bhakti. Those who are yet not qualified, those who don't have the samsats, they should go and serve the Vaishnavas so that they will develop the samsats and then probably some bhakti. Yeah, इसलिए really, uh, आप बोलो आप लोग बड़े भाग्यवान हो जो कि आप लोग गुरु वैष्णव के पास में आप लोग आए हो इसलिए महाप्रभु बोलते पर ब्रह्मांड भ्रमित कौन भाग्यवान जीव कहते तो ब्रह्मांड भ्रमित अगर किसी सौभाग्यवान व्यक्ति को जीवन में साधु गुरु वैष्णव प्राप्त होता है इसलिए आप लोग बड़े सौभाग्यवान हो महाप्रभु तो इसलिए गुरु जब से मंत्र लिया मतलब हृदय से बीज को तो बोए लेकिन अभी हम के माली है उसमें पानी देने का काम भी हमारी है पानी देना मतलब वैष्णव संघ हरिकथा और जो भक्ति का जो अंग हमें ठीक ठीक से याद नहीं करनी चाहिए महाप्रभु रूप गोस्वामी को बोल रहे हैं रूप गोस्वामी को ब्रह्मांड भ्रमित कौन भाग्यवान जी Wandering around on all the so uh, in all the universe, which fortunate jeep will get the uh, uh, seed of bhakti in his heart? The person who will come across the Guru and Vaishnavas. So although our, we have come to Gurudev, although Gurudev has planted the seed in our heart, but now it is our duty that we should go and water the seed also, because without water, the seed will uh, b- uh, get burnt or will get uh, uh, it will be wasted. We say, what is this water that we have given to the seed? The water is uh, hearing from the Vaishnavas, hearing from the Vedic instructions, etc. Yeah, you can every day Hare Krishna, every day you can in a every day must you can follow the limbs of bhakti. Ma, ma, give it to. Hare Krishna, uh, every day you know you try wake up timely, early morning, yeah. And after take shower, you must put tilak. You don't delay about tilak. Oh, why didn't they put tilak? No. In our Indian the tradition is the when some Brahman coming to somebody house without tilak, he never never doing any puja, you know. And when Indian tradition when going somebody very auspicious thing, first put tilak, then they can go. So one time without tilak, some de- devotee come to Mahaprabhu class. Mahaprabhu kick to him. Mahaprabhu kick to him. Well, you are not put tilak. That meaning today you did not chant your guru mantra. That meaning is the without tilak you cannot chant your guru mantra. Then this guru mantra becomes useless. Yeah. So you are must try to put tilak. Don't delay. So the scripture telling if somebody put the tilak, well, Lakshmi, Saraswati, Durga, Sabitri, Hari Balhava, Nitya Tasya Bhavet Dehe, Jasya Padma Kita Tano. Telling who is the put the tilak, this body residing, who is the residing this body? Well, Lakshmi, Saraswati, Durga, Sabitri, Hari Balhava, Gaya, Ganga, Kurukhetra, all holy river. They are present this body, you know. Bale Urdha Pundra Dhara Martya, na, himself Krishna telling, Urdha Pundra Dhara Martya Mriyate Jatra Kutra Chit. If somebody, Urdha Pundra, this Tilak, if he, any higher he can die, Lord is the telling, Bale Sopak Api, even he is the Chandal, Doug, Eater person, he can must come to my planet. If somebody put up Tilak, you know. So you don't delay about this tilak. You must, must put tilak. So scripture telling, if you not tilak, your forehead like this crematorian. Crematorian. Crematorian, your forehead. This crematorian. 
Yeah. And if food tilak is somebody only sought your tilak, then he can get the same food when he takes the darshan of Krishna. If somebody takes darshan your tilak, so scripture they are telling so much glory of this tilak, you know. Even you can say Krishna put in tilak, Narayana put in tilak, Ram put in tilak, Hanuman, Ganesh, even, you know, everybody put tilak, even Lord he put tilak. You know, this Lord himself he put this tilak. So you don't dila about tilak. Then tilak there is Brahma. Between Vishnu is the Mahesh. Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. This is the Krishna's lotus feet. This is the Gavchan. Like this lotus feet give you tulasi, you know, tulasi, you know, leave, give tulasi leave. So this way you don't delay about this tilak, okay? Without tilak you cannot do any auspicious thing. Everything make it useless, okay? So must you put tilak, okay? After tilak, your neck kanti, you don't delay about this kanti, tulasi mala. If you have not tulasi mala, Gurudev tell, in anyhow, when you take this tulasi mala to, from Gurudev, if anyhow broke this mala, Gurudev tell, unless until, you know, unless until you did not put this neck of tulasi mala, never you drink anything, water also, didn't put, never eat anything, fast tilak, Mala, then you can eat, you know. But when you eat anything, it touches the tulasi, they go to inside. Then a pure, when telling them tucking, it touches tulasi coming. So this tulasi is the so many medicine, you know. This is the, you don't think this is the some wooden, you know. When this karuna came our India, you know, this karuna affects everywhere. But our India, one place, never affect karuna there. This is the Himachal one village, never affect their karuna there. Everybody surrounding everywhere. Then media, they are so much surprised. Well, why here not affect Karuna? Then he go, when go there, then so this village everywhere, all house there, tulasi planted there, tulasi the tulasi tree there. So our they are India one medicine. This is tulasi power. Telling this in the tulasi there are two hundred type of medicine present. Two hundred disease you can move this tulasi. So this tulasi is not you know ordinary tree, there are so many medicines. Even he is the cancer, he is the cure the cancer in this tulasi. So when he put in the tulasi, tulasi is Lakshmi. And Krishna when left this world, where he came to himself this tulasi. So tulasi don't think this is the ordinary thing, ordinary thing. Okay. It, if, you, if your neck tulasi, if Jamjut they are sad, they are understand, oh, this is Krishna's devotee. Then never go to Helen's planet. Then you can go to Vaikuntha, you know? go to Goloka Vrindavan. So every day, okay, you can don't delay about the stilak and this is the kanti, okay. And every day you try chanting some fix round mala, okay. So Mahaprabhu telling, I gave this holy name, Iha Japa Gya Sabe Kariya Nirbandha. This must you chanting some round, some fix round. Your fix round you can chant. Somebody think, why necessary to fix round? How many round I can want, I can chant? Well, no, necessary to fix round. Without your bhakti going increase or decrease, how you can understand? So you must you can chant this holy name. Like give example, if somebody gave some you dollar, kate uska kya aap usko gin kar rakho na, bina gin rakh loge. Suppose he's saying, suppose somebody gives you money, what will you do? Will you count it or just put it in your cover or something? You will count it. You are counted. If somebody gives some money dollar, how much money you got, you must have counted. Like this money you counted, it is not necessary to, what is the rare wealth you do count it. Okay? And every day doing Mangalarati, okay? So Bhakti Mino Thakur telling, Jedina Grihe Bhajana Dekhi Grihe Te Golog Bhai. Many time you are listening to Prabhupada instruction. Somebody asked to Prabhupada, will Prabhupada, Dham is the everywhere. Prabhupada, yes, Dham is the everywhere. Then Prabhupada, he gave example, where is the Dham? Dham is the there where the Lord is the resided. There the Dham. The Lord is the everybody's heart, is the Lord. When everybody's heart is the Lord, everywhere is the Dham. And he telling where Harikatha going, Kirtan going, going Bhakti, this house is also Dham. This is the Dham also. If your house every day doing Mangalarati, okay, Tulasi Parikama, water of Tulasi, 
एवरी डे गेव जय ध्वनि ओके जय ध्वनि एवरी डे कैन गेव जय ध्वनि एवरी डे यू आर डूइंग लिटिल विट कीर्तन यू आर हाउस एंड चैंटिंग सम फिक्स राउंड एंड इफ गुरुदेव सम लेक्चर स्वामी महाराज लेक्चर गौद गौद महाराज लेक्चर यू कैन ओपनिंग एलसेकन लिसनिंग लेक्चर ये व्हेन टुडे गोइंग विथ दिस प्रभु व्हाट ने जगदीश प्रभु दे आर गौर गोविंद महाराज ओपनिंग गुरु गौर गौद वार लेक्चर गुरुदेव वाले से लेक्चर स्वामी महाराज लेक्चर योर हाउस यू कैन यू नो ओपनिंग लिसनिंग डूइंग योर हैंड डूइंग सर्विस ये एंड यू कैन लिसनिंग द गुरुदेव लेक्चर वैष्णव से लेक्चर दिस वे योर भक्ति में कि इनक्रेज यू नो इनक्रेज योर भक्ति ओके सो यू आर वेरी वेरी फॉर्चुनेट सो महाप्रभु टेलिंग वेरी वेरी यू नो फॉर्चुनेट पर्सन दे कैन केम द स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ वेन यू आर ऑल कैंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम द फिनिश नाउ You are not more suffering this material world. Come such a time you can go to back to Godhead. Then you can meet to some devotee. Before you cannot meet with any any devotee. Okay. So you are very very fortunate. You are come some Mahabhagavat. You know you are come coming contact with some Mahabhagavat. You are very very fortunate person. Okay. So you are try together doing bhajan, bhakti, Hari Nam, Kirtan. Then your life, our life became uh, successful. Okay. And it, if we try, try, it try coming to Brajamandal Parikrama, Navadhi Parikrama, okay? Navadhi Parikrama. This is the Bhakti Pragyan Kesav Goswami Maharaj. He told, "Nithai Gaur Brahmanandi Hari, Radha Vinod Vihari Jyu Ki Jai." So, so Bhakti Pragyan Kesav Goswami Maharaj. He told, "Every one year, I three times get me." गाड़ी को जैसे चार्ज देते ना मैं चार्ज देता हूँ जोर से जोर सेवदीप परिक्रमा ब्रजमंडल परिक्रमा रथ यात्रा ये दिस वे आवर लाइफ बिकम सक्सेसफुल ओके एंड कहते कहते परमार्थी महाराज महाराज को बोलो कोशिश करो सबको ले करके चलने के लिए बोलो सबको ले करके महाप्रभु कहते हैं प्रभु पाते सब मिली जुल करके सब हरी भाज हरी भजन करो सब मिली जुल करके सबके सब हरी भजन करो मिली जुल करके ओके कहते हम बद्धे जीव है हम सभी का अंदर में कुछ ना कुछ कमी है हम कोई मुक्त पुरुष नहीं है सब का अंदर में कमी है ये कमी को लेकर ही चलना पड़ेगा क्यों कलीयुग है इसलिए इसलिए गुरुदेव कहते थे जब हम किसी दूसरे व्यक्ति के अपराध को माफ़ करेंगे हमारी जो अपराध है तब भगवान माफ़ करेंगे नहीं तो तुम्हारे अपराध को माफ़ नहीं करेंगे क्योंकि गुरुदेव बोलते थे गुरुदेव गुरुदेव टेल टू दिस थे ये इसलिए इसलिए यहाँ पर ये ये सब के सब यहाँ रोगियों का स्थान है यहाँ पर मुक्त पुरुषों का स्थान है ये सब रोगियों का स्थान हम सब रोगी सब के सब भव रोग है सबके अंदर में रोग है सब इसलिए मंदिर तभी बढ़िया चलता है जब सब मिलजुल कर चले कलीजुग का जो बताया कलीजुग में जो भक्ति है कहते संघे शक्ति मतलब जब मिल करके हो तब तो शक्ति आएगा अकेले भक्ति में ठाकुर का तो भक्ति नहीं कर सकता अकेले कल जीव में uh, 
uh, without fail, you will fall down. He said, that's why it is important that you should perform your bhakti together with each other. Everybody gives strength to each other. Yes, that's why महाप्रभु कहते जो खेमा जगत में सबसे बड़ा गुण खेमा गुण है इससे बड़ा गुण जगत में कुछ भी नहीं सबसे बड़ा गुण है सबसे बड़ा गुण खेमा गुण है हाँ महाप्रभु कहते हैं हाँ इसलिए सब लोग कोशिश करो सब मिलजुल करके भक्ति करें हाँ गुरुदेव के पास में सारा दुनिया के लोग क्यों आए उन्हें सबको प्रेम दिया है तभी तो गुरुदेव के पास सारी दुनिया आई प्रेम देंगे तभी तो हमारे पास में सब आएंगे Yeah, इसलिए आप अगर हम भी प्रेम देंगे हमारे पास सब आएंगे ओके निताई गौर ब्रह्मानंद भक्ति वेदांत नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज की भक्ति वेदांत बामन गोस्वामी महाराज की बोले श्री गौरव गोविंद महाराज की प्रभुपाद की परमार्थी महाराज की निताई गौर ब्रह्मानंद